Hey everybody, this is Matt. In today's video lesson, I'm going to be teaching you about warm-ups. I'm just going to show you some warm-ups that I like to do, and I think it's important for any drummer to warm up for a good 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, however long it takes you uh, to get loose before doing any kind of show or gig, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm just going to run through some that I like to do, and most of these are going to be taken from sort of drum core style, drum line, warm-up type things, but I like to mix them around the kit to make them a little more interesting. Because, you know, when playing a full kit, it's one thing warming up your hands on, you know, just the snare, but when you get up here, you know, you're using your arms more, you're having to stretch more, you know, to get around the full kit to reach everything, okay? So it's good to kind of mix these up around. So, um... Let me just start with one that's taken from Drumline. If any of you have ever played in Drumline or heard Drumline's warm up, I'm sure you've heard this one. All right, it's pretty, pretty basic, but it's just uh, one and a two. You just a group of singles in a double short roll. Okay, but what I like to do. Just to warm up the feet, I like to get just um, straight sixteenths on the double kicks. And instead of doing the double stroke roll all the time, I will incorporate 30-second note singles in place of that double stroke roll. It's the same number of notes, but you're really working your wrists when you play 30-second note singles in place of a double stroke roll. So it sounds like, well, without the, the bass drum, this is what it sounds like. I'll slow it down for you. Sounds just like if you're doing a double stroke roll. That's the double stroke. Here's the singles. All right, same number of notes. So this is what it sounds like when doing, you know, having your feet going. So it's. up the double stroke roll with the 30 second note singles. Okay, so that's a good one I like to do. It warms up the legs a little bit and like I said it really warms up your wrist doing those 30 second note singles and it's good to start it slow. You know, even as slow as you know, even that slow when you first start. Um, another one I like to do that's also sort of taken from drumline. I'm sure you've all heard works out each hand individually. Well, something I like to do, and to make it interesting, is do flams between the snare and the floor. But I like to throw in some quick doubles with the feet, just to get the feet warmed up. So it sounds like this. Alright, actually it comes out sounding like a triplet there at the end. Sort of a triplet. This actually makes a pretty cool sounding fill too. If you wanted to use that in a fill, um, something else you could do that make it sound really cool. You can space out the notes of the flam instead of just going. You can go make it a little more spaced out, so it sounds like. Which also sounds pretty cool. All right. So that's another one that I like to do. Another one is just kind of moving around the kit. All right, just get used to going from here to here in one smooth motion. And again, I like to bring the, you know, get some singles going. So I like to start up here, and it just sounds like. All right, just, just go back and forth. It's good to, you know, just know where everything is. All right? You can also do... Um, four and six note groupings and if you don't know what that is I did another video on that but it's basically a group of four with the hands and then two with the feet. One, two, three, four. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a six note grouping. Okay? Or you can do, or you can do really fast um, 
six and two. That's what I mean by uh, groupings between the hands and the feet. But I like to, say, start up here and just do those just, just back and forth and really bounce around drums. You don't have to stay on one drum. You can go between two drums, okay? So it sounds like this. And of course, you can you can make up your own warm ups, but uh, those are just some that I find uh, to be helpful. Uh, working both the legs and the hands at the same time, as well as you know, working just 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 moving around the kit, going from you know one end to the other. Okay, so just uh, you know, hope you learned something from this, and um, we will see you again soon. Thanks.